y'all want to try and guess how long it just took me to turn on this camera? Because it, it was a really long time. I've been sitting out here for like 15 minutes trying to work over here to film this video. But, hello YouTube. I haven't made a video since February? Yeah, February. And it's May. And I want to give excuses for that, but the prime excuse I have is that uh, things haven't been good and no one really wants to talk about their life or show people their life when it's not good. But at the same time, that's a really bad thing, at least for me, because YouTube is one of my creative outlets and I kind of cut myself off from it because I've been struggling with stuff when I could have used it to help. But anyway, here I am making a video. I am currently on my balcony in Spain. And normally, this would make me super nervous because people can hear me talking, but everyone here speaks Spanish, so nobody knows what's going on. Today I'm making a video that I was inspired to make from watching another video, which I will link in the down bar. The video I watched was a video by Tessa Violet about vulnerability. And I don't like talking about this, if you can't tell. I'm overwhelmingly uncomfortable. But nevertheless, here we are talking about it because it kind of ties into like a life update. So, I'm here in Spain for another week, for one more week. I have finals this week and then I head back to Florida for the summer, which should be good. I'm, I'm actually nervous to go home, which is weird. Like, I'm overly excited to go home but I'm also really nervous because I have so many expectations for the summer and everything and I'm so easily disillusioned that I'm like if this doesn't go exactly how I pictured in my head it's gonna be awful but like nothing ever goes how you think it's gonna go so I, I don't know why I do this to myself and then next semester I go back to Tampa for college and like all youngins. I'm changing my major. Changing my major to musical theater and doing doing the whole the whole creative things. And it makes me super super nervous. I spent all of freshman year like most freshmen trying to figure out what I want to do. And to be honest, I, I still have no clue. I'm just now I'm just trying trying new things, trying things I didn't really consider doing before. Basically, I started off I started off college thinking I was going to do marine biology because I told myself my entire life I was going to do marine biology and I don't like not having a plan because not having a plan, you don't want to see summer without a plan, it's really scary. But I decided that I, I didn't want to I didn't want to study science and be in labs and I didn't think I had enough passion about it to do it as a career. Then I decided that I was going to do psychology, which... I have an interest in psychology and sociology. As you can see, I went to a sociology conference last October that I posted a video about. Just understanding other people really interests me. But um, I think I have enough of my, my own problems to, to try and help people with theirs. I'm just, I don't know. I, I'm not sure that's, that's the route the route I want to take. After a certain while I decided that I wasn't happy at Tampa and that I wanted to change schools um, and transfer to another college. So I started applying to other colleges, which is all well and good and I've, I've heard back from some of these colleges, but I'm still super unsure about what I want to do, to be quite honest. I think none of us have any idea what we're doing, but we really like to make it look like we do. I kind of had this like dual passion my entire life for marine life and for the arts and theater and, and singing and all this other stuff. There was actually one point where I was like literally pursuing it like going to theater classes and then going to like acting on camera classes like television, movie, acting classes and uh, modeling classes and I was convinced that I was gonna leave my life in South Florida behind and move out to California, you know, like that that whole deal. That never happened because I moved and I got really attached to living living a normal life, I guess. Kind of decided that like, oh, oh if I still want to like 
do that later. I can try and pursue that later. But like, does later ever really come? No. I continued doing theater throughout and the arts throughout high school. But I never really thought about doing it in college. I honestly never really took it seriously or seriously enough to like consider it for a career. No one really pushed me to and I wasn't going to push myself to. And I think it just stemmed from the whole concept that I never thought I was I was good enough to do it. I still don't think I'm good enough to do it, but I, I never did throughout high school. And I always compared myself to other people around me and how they were doing. And I was like, oh, I, I'm never going to be like them anyway, so why try? I have this nice little perfectionist streak, or as my psychologist roommate says, an imposter complex, where um, if I'm not good at something or I don't think I'm going to be good at something, I will not do it for the fear of like failing in front of people at it and looking stupid and looking like I'm not good at things. <laughs> I only ever really do things if I'm completely like secure in them and prepared. And that's probably why like even with my anxiety I was able to do theater because it was like rehearsed and I was playing a character. But I still like can barely get in front of a group of people I know or like get in front of the class and do presentations or sing without having a nervous breakdown. It's more uh, personal to me. It's like people are judging me, they're not judging like who I'm pretending to be. I don't know if that makes sense. But this whole, this whole video reminded me of this because what I'm doing next semester is changing my major to musical theater. I have to audition for that first, but if all goes well and my audition goes well, then I will be changing my major to musical theater and picking up a film minor or a double major, depending on credits. But um, none of my friends know about that. I haven't told them about that. But the internet is going to know about it, so they they may know about it if they watch my videos. I, I, didn't, I didn't really tell a lot of people that I was trying to do new things, do musical theater, because I have major fear of judgment from um, the people that know me. I don't want to say I don't care at all about what people who don't know me think about me. I just, I don't care as much. But when it comes to like the people that know me and the people that inspire me and the people that I surround myself with, I feel very uncomfortable exposing myself to them knowing that they could judge me. <laughs> I'm not afraid to like really tell my friends about like my problems and like things that I go through, like, I don't know, interpersonal relationship things stuff like that but when it comes to actual like creative creative pursuits you will not catch me asking for advice on anything because I, I don't like people to see my my work in progress like I want to do musical theater but you know who doesn't know about that any of my friends in musical theater and I want to pick up this film minor and you know who doesn't know about that any of my friends who are interested in film it's like if I know people have even a remote knowledge about like the things I'm doing I just, I get intimidated and I get insecure. It just makes me feel really uncomfortable. Obviously, I know constructive criticism is the only way to grow and get better at the things that you do. So I'm really just like cutting myself off from a whole other world of improvement by asking people's opinions. I just, I kind of grew up feeling inferior to um, people around me, like even my friends. It's not like really jealousy as much as a, I'll never be like them, I'll never be as good as them. So anyway, all throughout like middle school and I wanna say into high school, I would just spend all my time like comparing myself to other people to the point that I would refuse to do things because I, I didn't think I didn't think I would compare to anyone anyway, so I was like, what's the point in even trying? And the few times that I did like try to come out of my shell and do things, it was just, it felt like failure and it felt like embarrassment and I was like, yep, I'm never going to do that again. And like some of my closest friends are the people that inspire me most. To this day, I, I still don't ask for advice or how they perceive specific things I do because it's like if I'm, if I'm going to actually do something, it's like I have this need to impress them and be able to say like I did this all on my own. Otherwise, I just feel like it, it it isn't enough. It makes me way too vulnerable. And I've literally, I've, I've had this conversation 
was one of my closest guy friends because he always tells me that I can like go to him to ask for advice on creative things. And he was confused as to why I don't because I think my mom had some conversation with him about how I needed help with something and he was like, oh, she never came to me about it. But it just puts me in a very, very vulnerable position. So it's like, if I don't like verbally talk about myself doing things, then no one can judge me for doing things. But last year, I made a video of me doing a slam poem, which was completely not my brand. It's not that I don't write, like I write all the time. I just don't share it with anyone ever. I think I only really show my poems to like one person and it's just because she writes poems too and we're in the same boat. But anyway, I, I wrote this, this slam poem and posted a video of me reading it on YouTube, or reciting it on YouTube. That was all well and good. I didn't feel weird about it because that kind of stuff isn't weird to me. But then <laughs> one of my closest friends went through all of her contacts, so people I know or have come into contact with and sent them the video and then sent me like all of their responses, which were overwhelmingly positive, but I felt so uncomfortable. I was like freaking out. At the same time, I like crave praise and validation and stuff. It's like, if it's given to me, I'm like, what, what? No, go away, stop, stop looking at me, stop seeing the things that I do, I want to be invisible. And it's, it's really counterintuitive and it's really contradictory to put yourself on display and then when the people who care about you most comment on what you have done, it makes you uncomfortable and it makes you feel weird to the point where you refuse to ever put yourself in that position. A lot of people probably just think that I don't do things. And it's not that I don't do things, and it's that I don't tell people that I'm doing things. I go to all my friends' shows and events, and I want to be their number one fan, but I, I don't tell them when I have shows or when I'm doing things, because I'm, I'm scared of them coming to see it, to be honest. But anyway, my whole point of making this video is to hold myself accountable for all of this, so that hopefully in the future I can improve, and while I am pursuing my future endeavors, like the arts, or the business side of the arts, which is also something I'm looking into pursuing. I work on my my fear of sharing things with people. I, I didn't originally plan to make a video about this, or like my major change, or like the things that are different in my life, because like I changed my mind a lot, <laughs> and I don't want people to hold me to what I say now, or what I like used to say, and think that it's always going to be the same because I don't even know that it's always gonna be the same. Life makes no sense. That's just like a mini, mini life update about, I don't know, future changes and how I feel about them and how I feel about certain things because yay, emotional honesty. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And I really hope that this summer I get back into making videos because it makes me happy and it makes me feel better. I should I should be trying to make more videos this summer, so watch out for those. I I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if summer needs a new catchphrase and outro. And I will see you in my next video.